Hey all, Russ here, Arvir TV. Good morning, it's June 15th and it is a windy day. We got cooler weather moving in, uh, storm systems coming through later today. Alrighty, there's the power panel. I just put a little stain on it before I set it in place. It's almost dry, so. Got my container full of wire. This is all left over from when I worked on Spirit. That's kind of nice to have all that. Don't have to buy it. There's the batteries. I moved the couch. First thing on the list, I gotta move that uh, solar controller and that uh, fuse switch and clean up that wiring there. So I'm gonna get busy and I'll be back in just a minute or two. Moved it down uh, about, see, uh, even with the bottom of the couch, so the couch will miss it. It's something you don't have to look at all the time. It'll be, I can access it. Got all the wires cleaned up, run over the batteries, got everything tacked on the wall. That's all looking good. I still got to set that inverter. But that's a clean setup, and it's below the couch. Okay, here's the wires coming in from the outside plug for shore power. That'll be 30 amps coming in. Alright, I'm going to get busy wiring and I'll be back. Alrighty, got the wires into the power panel. And that duct tape on there, it's temporary. I zip tie all this. I just put the duct tape on there just to hold it in place until I'm all done. In case I got to change anything. I'm not cutting a bunch of zip ties off. So, and I put the bends in the wire so I can, it'll pull in and out. Then I run it over to the batteries. That's all set. So the charger from the power panel is actually hooked to the batteries now. So the circuit's complete. I got the inverter set so pretty much it's a completed system right now all right so there is 12 volts going in this wire here goes up to the fantastic fan and I hooked it to the power panel which the power panel is live it's got that 10 amp fuse right there so I should be able to turn the fan on Voila, we got power. So that power is actually going all the way from the batteries through the power panel up to the fan. So it's a full circuit. Okay, next on the hit list is some 12 volt plugs for USB and regular 12 volt. I'm going to mount them in this uh, panel box here. So let me get my stuff out and I'll be back. Okay, I had these in spirit. They're uh, USB uh, plugs, two in each one. They work out good. And these are left over from spirit actually. There's a 12 volt plug, then I have one more. that will go right there. So I'll actually have four 12 volt plugs, they'll each be on their own fuse circuit. Takes an inch and a quarter hole saw, and I'm going to get drilling, and I'll be back and show you. Hey, they're all mounted. They're in there. Clean looking. They work good, too. There's a look from behind. They each got a positive and negative on them. So I'm going to get busy. I'll get these wired up. Okay, for these I'm just using 14 gauge wire, which is plenty. I've got my handy dandy crimpers, cutters, and wire strippers. I've used these old tools for years. Works good. Then on the ends, I just put the squeeze uh, clips. All right, well, I got the positives all wired into the box, and then I added that there. That's going to be like a junction bar for the negatives for the ground. 
so all the grounds will go there instead of running a wire each wire to the panel all right we got power see that low blue light I hope the camera's picking that up that's a low blue LED light that means there's power on these plugs are live with 12 volts good to go well you weren't looking I ran a power line over to the antenna got it all hooked up so that's the power antenna for the King Jack and I threw a LED light in there too my little 12 volt TV okay I'm uh, scanning for channels you know I didn't give the King Jack uh, <laughs> it's a good antenna there's nothing wrong with them yesterday I was a little down on them but they're better than anything else out there uh, wine guard especially but uh, they work good they're just limited their their range is uh, if you have if you're about around a bunch of trees and stuff you're gonna get blocked out but other than that they work really good okay it found 47 channels let's see what comes up hey hey soap opera what else we got Gun smoke. All right, now I can finish the wiring and watching gun smoke. <laughs> hey, it works. Everything is working now. And the antenna's moving freely. Locks in place that little button there, so it, we're good to go. All done. Well, there it is. That's about as far as I'm going to take the electrical in this thing. i uh, got the four plugs, got the 110 plug on the front. There's the remote starter for the inverter. And I want to use this thing a little bit before I run a bunch of wire and uh, figure out where I want everything. And probably after about two, three trips in it, I'll figure out more. I'm going to get, tomorrow I'll get few more lights up on the wall and whatnot but I'm gonna call that good right now in electrical I can run everything plug in my computers cameras everything will be functional so I'm happy well it's been a really long day I'm gonna start winding all this stuff up It's a good feeling. Actually, I can start, I'm hauling tools out of here back to my storage unit, so that's a good deal. Starting to get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Look at all the clouds. They say a chance of rain by in the morning. It's only about 70 degrees, really windy. So, but I'll take it. It's supposed to be nice through Saturday, and then by Monday, 100 degrees out. Scooby says, oh no, not a hundred. She's ready to go. Okay, Scoops and I are going to get the heck out of Dodge. Go home, get something to eat. Hey, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for watching RV or TV. Everyone have a great evening. And don't forget to travel safe. Talk to you soon.